Hello there and welcome to another episode of This Guy Edits where you get to see this guy edit. So today I'm going to share one of my favorite editing secrets. It's something that I would love to take credit for but it actually comes from one of the greats uh, from Walter Murch who's an Academy Award winning editor who wrote a book called In the Blink of an Eye, right there. A book that I've got when I went to film school. And this is really the one that stuck with me and that I keep reading again over the years. And one of the key things that I took away from it is how the blinking of an actor will most likely have an effect on the editing. And so I'm going to share a little bit of what that means on a specific example. As you might know from previous episodes, I'm currently cutting a new feature directed by Mark Webber. Uh, that he just finished shooting in Pennsylvania and we're now moving into the post-production phase and I started cutting um, the rough cut. And the thing I wanted to talk to you about is how the blinking of the actors has an influence on me editing. Take a look at the scene and also pay attention to how the actors are moving their eyes and are blinking. You okay? Yeah. I was having a bad dream. I gotta get ready for school. Okay, I'll take it up to here. Obviously, both actors were blinking at some points in the scene. According to Walter Murch, and I actually feel this too, you can sort of follow the thought process of an actor by the way he blinks. The theory is that if he blinks, he changes his thought, or he has completed a thought, he blinks, takes a break, and then starts a new thought. If you are in the middle of cutting a scene and you're cutting between two actors, pay attention to the way that the performers are blinking and see when their thought is completed or when it feels like they're moving on to something else. They're looking somewhere else or they're blinking and they're refocusing and see if it makes sense to cut just before or after that blink because you're thought might be completed at that point. So that's a theory and you still sort of have to feel it and you really have to use your intuition as you're editing to see what feels right. Another thing that Walter Murch says is good editing is invisible editing or he even says great editing is invisible editing. You can be a good editor and then it looks good and people feel like it is good but if they don't even notice the editing, if they're just in touch with the story directly that's great editing. And one way to achieve that is to use blinking or where the eyes are moving. Let's look at the scene one more time. You okay? Yeah. There you go. Something is happening there in this shot. Yeah. Mark looks at G, he looks away, and he looks at him again. And it feels as if he's considering how much is he going to reveal of that dream. You okay? Yeah. I was having a bad dream. <sighs> it's not 100% a perfect cut yet. I still feel a little bit of a jar. I was having a bad dream. <sighs> but for now, I think it works. And now here, the question is, when do I cut? And you can see G is blinking right at the end. I could potentially cut before he blinks. I kind of like it the way it is. I'm just going to extend it for now and see what else is happening here. He blinks right here 
And then there's another one. Oh, that's actually nice. Right here. Let's try that and see how how that feels like. I was having a bad dream. That feels I good. Get ready for school. And then here, Mark is blinking. I gotta get ready for school. Then he's looking over. And I really like what what his eyes are doing as the line starts. I gotta get ready for school. He's paying attention to that, and then he's back in his own world. Let's look at that. He blinks. I gotta get ready for school. He listens. He considers, and he's back in his own world, fighting his demons. So that kind of works. Maybe that blink at the beginning is a little too abrupt. I'm going to give it more room. And I kind of want to always play things in real time and feel where the edit point could potentially be. It's a little dangerous to move frame by frame by frame to find the exact edit point. Um, it should work in real time. I gotta get ready for school. It's a little bit too long. I do like to spend a long time on G's close-up or medium close-up because it's really the first time we get a good look at him in the movie and it is also a very stunning shot that makes me feel a lot. Again, that's his brother he hasn't seen for five years so when Mark got into prison his little brother was basically a kid and now he's starting to become a grown-up. So I liked spending time with Guillermo, but let's see if we're spending too much time with Mark. He blinks. He blinks again. I gotta get ready for school. Well, it might work, actually. It shows a little awkwardness between the two. And then that end point looks good as well. I think it's okay to give these characters room to get to know each other and give us the opportunity to get to know them. So for first rough cut, I think it's a good effort. It can still change quite a bit, especially once I know really what the overall feel of the movie is, the pacing, the tone. Once again, I can highly recommend this book by Walter Murch in the blink of an eye. I'll leave a link to the book uh, where you can get it. And it's a quick read and it's something that will stick with you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.